spell Syzygy. Syzygy. S-Y. Z-Y. G-Y. Syzygy? We have a winner! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, my family keeps on telling me just be
John Roman, a Miss Julia Dunbar, a Mr. Keith Robertson, and Miss Ellie Harrison. <laughs>
spelling begin? With Miss Schwartz and Rubinier. Miss Logan Schwartz and Rubinier is head of the Gay Straight Alliance at her elementary school. <laughs> Strabismus. May I please have a definition of that word? The inability of one eye to obtain binocular vision with the other due to an imbalance of the muscles of the eyeball. And you said a sentence, please? In the schoolyard, Billy protested that he wasn't cockeyed. I suffer from strabismus, he said, whereupon the bullies beat him harder. <laughs> Notice how she writes on her forearm. This is her way to see the word before she speaks it out loud. Strabismus. S-T-R-A-E-I-S-M-U-S. Strabismus. That is correct. Miss Tony Bear. Miss Tony Bear was second runner-up in the Putnam Basin District. And 
way wrap my head around the fact that in one book is the entire language of her species, which is a favorite term of Nietzsche's, who's the great grandmother Christina Ricci's. <laughs> yes, I joke, but the words in the dictionary are the friends that I have forever, more than the friends I have.
the hard ball used in the game of baseball. Can you use it in a form of a sentence, please? I couldn't figure out why the baseball was getting bigger. Then it hit me. <laughs> B A S E B A L L. That is correct. <laughs> Miss Park. Marcy Park is new to our county, having placed ninth in nationals last year as a representative of Virginia. It's a beautiful country. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Park, the word is phylactery. Phylactery. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Yes. Thank you. May I have a definition, please? Either of two small square leather boxes containing religious texts traditionally worn on the left arm and head by Jewish men during morning weekday prayers. Thank you. May I have a sentence, please? Billy, put down that phylactery. We're Episcopalian. <laughs> Thank you. Phylactery. P-H-Y-L-A-C-T-E-R-Y. Phylactery. That is correct. Mr. Tolentino. Hey, Marcy, you're in Nationals, right? Remember me? I only remember top ten. <laughs> Charlino Chip Tolentino is a little league pitcher with a wicked 22 mile an hour screwball. Own fellow skepsis. <laughs> Didn't ball we just get baseball? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you got own fellow skepsis. Are <laughs> those really rated on the same level of difficulty? They're both level one words, I assure you. Om Philo Skepsis? Yes. Can that also be pronounced Om Philo Skepsis? It can. It would be wrong. <laughs> Om Philo Skepsis. O M P H A L O S K E P S I S. Om Philo Skepsis. That is correct. <laughs> Miss Dunbar. Miss Dunbar is two pieces away from swallowing an entire board game. <laughs> please spell cow. Cow! Oh, please spell the microphone is allowed to speak. It means a cow. <laughs> Spell cow. <laughs> C O W? That is correct. My eye. That would sober on it.
Justin Grubinier has proposed a constitutional amendment lowering the voting age to 10. <laughs> Cystitis. An inflammation of the urinary bladder. And you said a sentence, please? Sally's mother told her it was her cystitis that made her special. Cystitis. <laughs> I think I studied this one with my dad. <coughs> Segway. S E G U E. Good. Cypher. S I P H O N. Good. Cystitis. S I F. Not think. <coughs> Good. I. No, Logan, are you concentrating? Yes. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's time for a break. Not now, Dan. We are in the middle of a word. You no, know she doesn't spell well when her blood sugar is low, Carl. We've got to get her stamina up. The bee could last three hours. Don't you talk to me about stamina, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Dengue. 
May I have the definition, please? A disease transmitted by mosquitoes that causes headache, severe joint pain, rash, and severe diarrhea. <laughs> Can you use it in a form of a sentence, please? When the pediatrician asked Billy to describe the symptoms of his dengue, he said, it's like there was a rice out of my tushy and everybody won. <laughs> Sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs>
like to see him back in spelling so well. Haas and Pfeffer. Yes, of course, Haas and Pfeffer. A highly seasoned rabbit stew often served with sour cream. Rabbit stew, that's correct. My old friend. One moment, please. He's going for the foot. <laughs>
and fifth grades. She's on track to become the youngest high school freshman in parochial school history. Miss Park, the word is Kamakam. Kamakam, a lieutenant or deputy in the Ottoman Empire, a rare exception to the QU rule. From the Turkish, Kamakam. Q A I M A Q A M. Kamakam. That's remarkable. And correct. <laughs>
wears two pairs of underwear, just in case. <laughs> Please spell Coco Bugle. Coco Bugle? Yes. May I have a definition? Unknown. A Nantucket whaling term. And uh, use in the sentence, please. The neap tide is upon us. The Leviathan years. Coco Bugle. <laughs> Great. Uh, C-O-C-O-B-U-G-L-E, Coco Bugle. That is correct. <laughs> Miss Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> Most Wetkins owned a whopping 798 head counting. Please spell lysergic acid diethylamide. <laughs> <laughs> a hallucinogenic drug that produces profound changes in perception and mood. And use in a sentence. Rita took too much lysergic acid diethylamide and thought she was a glass of orange juice. <laughs> L Y S E R G I C space A C I D space D I E T H Y L A M I D E lysergic acid diethylamide. That is correct. <laughs> Miss Ellie. <laughs> Please spell there. There? Yes. Uh, definition. Contraction of they are, or a form of the possessive case of they, or in or at that place. <laughs> and um, you said a sentence. There is no way they're getting their word correct. <laughs> See what you did there. All right. Um, T H E Y apostrophe R E there. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> 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 Well.
snack break. Cookies, brownies, candy, all one dollar. Anybody?
Isabel Peregrine. Heard of speech? No. Cora, what? Cora. From the two feet? No. Jeff, of course? Of course. Can you use it in a sentence? Yes. Mr. Panchi? Doug Panch. Will Barfing. <laughs> Miss Park. Miss Park speaks five languages. No, I don't. Don't you? No. Well, it also says that you won your school's handwriting contest. And does it say that I only sleep three hours a night, hide in the kitchen cabinet, and that I'm not allowed to cry? No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> well, it should, and it should say, I speak six languages. Six? Every language easy. Yes, I 
unfair advantage. But I don't have a magical bus. Or a mother. We have all parents in their seats, please. This is not a soccer game. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch, for the tough love and juice box. <laughs> I'd like to uh, apologize for that incident. Uh, in my defense, I'd like to point out that I am lactose intolerant. <laughs> Please don't trust me. <laughs> what did my dad say? Well, your dad says he's running late, and he'll discuss the engine speed when he picks you up. But did he say what time he's going to get here? Chimerical. What was the word? Chimerical. May I have a definition? It means unreal. Imaginary, visionary, wildly fanciful, highly unrealistic.
wildly fanciful. That is correct. Definition. It means twilight. Twilight. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? She thought she was walking into the dark, but it turned out it was the crepuscule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crepuscule. C R E P. Crep. U. S C U L E. Crepuscule. That is correct. Miss Dorothy Green. A Latin derivative. Cornish, that's like English, Dutch, and French. V-U-G-G-H-E-V. I'm sorry, the correct spelling is V-U-G, bug. So simple? It's so simple. I'm sorry, Dad. I overcomplicated. I hope you still love me, America, America, I gave it my best try. If you still don't love me, America, I understand why you hate losers, so do I. Do 
Zoonosis. Zoonosis, yes, of course. Does that happen to be the longest word that when flipped upside down is still the same word? Fabaceae. Fabaceae, is that the longest word that can be played on a musical instrument? Chromatophore. Chromatophore, and when you rearrange the letters in that word, do you not get the phrase, Mr. Pooh ate a rock? Chief Mr. Pop home carrot. Rap home cohort. Mr. Barfy, please spell Astroleam. I'm loving every minute. Astroleam. Who knew I had this thirst? A S T.
present to you William Morris Bar Faye with this $200 savings bond towards your future education. <laughs> I've worked so hard for this moment. All my life, I've been only able to breathe through one nostril. <laughs> and today is no exception. <laughs> and this year, there's also a runner-up prize. There is? Uh, yes. As you know, if the winner cannot fulfill his duties as Putnam County Spelling Champ, then the runner-up must step in and assume all responsibilities. So this year, our sponsors are also offering a cash prize of $25 to the second place finisher. Nice going. Mrs. Craig, I can be the fee now. Very good. Very good.